హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆది కెమిస్ట్రీ ఆన్లైన్ కోచింగ్ ఐఎమ్ ఆదిత్యవర్ధన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆది కెమిస్ట్రీ డాట్ కామ్ వరంగల్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ ఐ విల్ డీల్ విత్ మోడ్స్ ఆఫ్ వైబ్రేషన్స్ ఇన్ మాలిక్యూల్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ వెదర్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్ఫ్రారెడ్ యాక్టివ్ ఆర్ నాట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ యూస్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ఎన్టీఎస్ ఎస్ఆర్ నెట్ గేట్ ఐఐటి జామ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఈక్వల్లీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ టు అదర్ యూనివర్సిటీ లెవెల్ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ I would like to suggest you to visit adhikemistry.com for study material and video presentations to crack the above examinations. The vibrations in molecules are basically of two types. There is stretching and bending. In the case of stretching, the bond length is altered without any change in the bond angle. While in case of bending, there is a change in bond angle however one should note that in order to maintain the center of mass the bond lengths may be slightly altered during the bending vibrations they are again subdivided into other categories that we are going to deal in this presentation let us start with a simple vibration of a bond in a homonuclear diatomic molecule this is otherwise known as stretching mode and during this vibration the dipole moment of the molecule is not changed hence this vibration is ir inactive for your kind information in order to be ir active there must be a change in dipole moment during vibration in this molecule the dipole moment before stretching is zero and there is no change in the dipole moment during the vibrational stretch hence it is infrared inactive that means there will be no peak in the infrared spectroscopy for this vibration examples are dihydrogen dioxygen dinitrogen etc now look at a heterodiatomic molecule let us consider the smaller atom is more electronegative than the larger one hence there is a dipole moment for this molecule as shown the negative end is directed towards the more electronegative smaller atom and upon stretching the dipole moment is altered hence this stretching vibration is ir active now let us deal with the triatomic molecules the stretching vibrations can be symmetric or asymmetric let us deal with the symmetrical stretching first this is a linear triatomic molecule with the two same atoms connected to the central atom each bond is associated with a bond moment since the bonds are the same and the bond moments are opposite in direction this molecule has no net dipole moment and this is the symmetric stretching mode since the two bonds are stretching to the same extent moreover the stretchings occur in opposite directions therefore during this vibration there is no change in the net dipole moment of the molecule hence this vibration is not ir active now let us see symmetrical stretching in the non linear triatomic molecules even though the bonds are the same as they are making angles with each other the molecule has a net dipole moment it is shown with a green arrow now this is uh, the symmetrical stretching of each bond both are vibrating at the same time to the same extent however the net dipole moment is altered during this vibration hence this vibration is ir active now the asymmetric stretching here the stretching vibrations are not occurring at the same time 
As a result, there will be a change in the net dipole moment of the molecule during vibrations. Hence, this stretching mode is infrared active. The same is the case with nonlinear molecules also. It is also IR active because dipole moment is changed during uh, asymmetric stretching. Here is a special case of asymmetric stretching in asymmetric triatomic linear molecules. In this case, the stretching is asymmetric since the atoms connected to the central atom are different. Look at this hypothetical molecule. The bond moments are unequal. Hence, there is an initial net dipole moment. The dipole moment is changed during the stretching vibrations. Hence, it is IR active. One should note that even if the bonds are vibrating at the same time, the magnitude is not same. The bond associated with a smaller atom is subjected to more stretch than the bond with a larger atom. Hence, this stretching mode is asymmetric. Now, let us deal with the bending vibrations. This is a simple bending vibration in triatomic linear molecule. The bond moment is altered during this bending mode. Hence, this is infrared active. For other nonlinear and more complex molecules, the bending vibrations are more interesting and can be subdivided into wagging, twisting, scissoring, and rocking. Let us walk through these vibrational modes. The first one is wagging. Here both the bonds are bending to the same side of uh, a plane at the same time. And this is twisting. Only one bond undergoes bending at one time. And this is scissoring. And finally, the rocking mode. And one should note that the number of vibrational modes for a given linear molecule is equal to 3n minus 5, while for a nonlinear molecule it is equal to 3n minus 6, where n represents the number of atoms in a given molecule. That's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more. Uh, information on this topic as well as uh, more video presentations don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video share with your friends and don't forget to write a comment below all the best